Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're back in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 22 to 23, where Jesus drops in a gorgeous, profound teaching that has implications for all sorts of areas of our life. But it's very simple. He just says this, the eyes are the lamp of the body. If the eyes are good, the whole body will be full of light. But if the eyes are bad, then the whole body will be full of darkness. And if the light within you is darkness, how great will be that darkness? That's it. That's, that's the teaching, but very profound. has all sorts of implications for us and spiritual life. Because Jesus is essentially saying you, you become like what you look at, and so be careful what you look at. Because if you look at the good and the lovely and the beautiful and the excellent and the praiseworthy, then you will be filling your inner world with those things. And if you contemplate the Father in heaven, then you will be filling your life with his light and his truth and his justice and his peace and his love and his faith and his hope. And that's good. But if you alternatively fixate and contemplate the bad, the evil, the sordid, the lustful, the bitter, the resentful, if you turn the eyes of your body and the eyes of your heart and of your imagination towards that which is negative, then you fill your life with darkness, your inner world with gloop and gunk and toxic mess and old shopping trolleys. Uh, and that's what your inner life looks like and that's what begins to emanate from you as a person. Uh, and so Jesus is challenging us to think very carefully about what we do with our eyes, what we look at, because we become like what we look at. And it's a bit of a reinforcing circle really, a vicious cycle or a virtuous circle. Because as we, as we will which, what, that which is good, and as we look at the good, then more good comes in, and, and that makes us more inclined to look, and, and so on and so forth. Whereas if our, our will causes us to turn our gaze towards that which is not good, and we let that into our lives, and gloop up our imagination with uh, the dark, then that affects what we look at, lets more of that in, and again, a, a vicious circle is the re result. And so we need to be attentive, and perhaps that's a challenge this week, to be attentive to what we attend to, to be attentive to what we attend to, to do an inventory of, of our contemplation during this week. What do I spend my time thinking about? What do I spend my time looking at? What is What of that is good and what of that is not good? And what steps could we take to shift our gaze? And sometimes that's incredibly difficult, changing the habits of a lifetime towards that which is good and fixing our eyes upon Jesus, looking full in his beautiful face as the things of the world grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. That's a challenge for this week and a challenge for me as well.